this is all like uncharted territory that we're getting into, which makes me just even more excited to see where the creatives go next. <laughs> Happy New Year! Book adaptations, reimagining, reboots. Kristen here, and we are talking about the most anticipated TV shows of 2022. From the creators of the hit German TV show Dark comes 1899. The series takes place at sea as it follows immigrants moving from London to New York to start a new life but it turns into a nightmare. Based on a podcast, Archive 81 is a horror series from one of the executive producers of The Boys. It follows an archivist trying to restore tapes from a missing director who is investigating a demonic cult. Sci-Fi's new series, Astrid and Lily Save the World, looks like so much fun as it follows best friends who team up to save the world after a portal to another dimension filled with monsters open up. I also love that this show is representing plus-size women and body positivity and that you can be a badass and save the world at any size. Atlanta follows an up-and-coming rapper managed by his cousin doing everything they can to take his career to the next level. The Donald Glover-led show returns for season three this year after filming in new locations like London, Paris, and Amsterdam. The live-action remake of Avatar The Last Airbender is coming to Netflix this year, and the cast is already looking star-studded with Daniel Day Kim and Paul Sun Young Lee taking lead roles. Bel Air has been picked up for a two-season order on Peacock. The show is a dramatic reimagining of the 90s hit show The Fresh Prince of Bel Air that put Will Smith on the map. This new remake is really cool because it was inspired by a fan short film written and directed by Morgan Cooper that dropped on YouTube in 2019 and now Cooper is executive producing the show. The power of the internet, man. The power of YouTube. Following the success of the To All The Boys franchise, Lana Condor is teaming up with Netflix once again, this time for a limited series. She's going to be producing and starring in the show Boo Bitch, which follows a high school senior who's tired of playing it safe, but then she wakes up the next day as a ghost. One of the co-showrunners is Lauren Rungerich, who was the showrunner for Awkward and On My Block, so if you like those shows, maybe this one will be right up our alley. Bridgerton Season 2 will feature Anthony Bridgerton on his journey for love and trying to uphold the Bridgerton family name, and everything changes changes when sisters Kate and Edwina Sharma arrive from India. Meanwhile, Penelope Featherington is struggling to keep her big secret. Plus, we are even getting a Queen Charlotte spinoff in the near future, so the Bridgerton world is just continuing to grow and thrive. Cabinet of Curiosities is a new anthology series from Guillermo del Toro coming to Netflix, which is meant to challenge our traditional notions when it comes to horror. It's going to feature eight tales dabbling in the macabre, the magical, the gothic, the grotesque, the creepy, with actors like Crispin Glover and Essie Davis, and creatives like Jennifer Kent, who directed The Babadook, and Catherine Hardwick behind Twilight. Things are going to be very different when Charmed returns for season four on The CW, and I am very intrigued to see where we are going next with the series. We have a brand new trio of showrunners. We have a brand new actress coming in to complete the power of three now that Madeline Mantock has decided to leave the series. And while we don't know too much about what to expect yet, one of the new showrunners, Joey Falco, has been sharing hints on Twitter about what's coming, including Leprechauns, Mermen, magic traveling sandwiches? So I'm just really crossing my fingers that this is going to bring more fun and energy and just more magical creatures into this series. Sci-Fi Shucky series has officially been picked up for a season two and I am so excited because it was one of my favorite shows of 2021. I think they did an incredible job of bringing us this new story while also connecting us to the actors and characters from the past and introducing us to more of Charles Lee Ray's background. There were a lot of questions after this first season so I hope that they answer them and that we just get even more Easter eggs and references and fun going into season two. If you have not watched Dairy Girls yet, you are missing out. This is a hilarious show about young girls growing up in the 90s in Northern Ireland. It's a quick watch and will have you laughing out loud through the ridiculous predicaments that they get caught up in. The third and final season is coming out this year, so we just gotta enjoy it. Euphoria made huge waves when it dropped in 2019. We got incredible eye makeup looks thanks to this show fashion looks. We got Zendaya being the youngest person to win a primetime Emmy thanks to this show. And now it's returning with even more intensity for a season two as Rue tries to find hope while also trying to deal with her issues of love, loss, and addiction. In the spinoff to All My Block, Free Ridge is taking us back to the fictional town, but with a new story centered around a brand new group of friends. These characters are going to go on a crazy adventure after they learn that they may or may not have woken up a deadly curse. The Wildcats are spending the summer at sleepaway camp when High School Musical the Musical the Series returns for season three this year. And with the new tagline, Love is an Open Door, it feels like that could mean a lot of different things. First of all, I mean, they gotta be doing Frozen as their next musical, right? I'd also think like, hey, maybe some more romances, some love triangles going on. I think we have a lot to look forward to in season three. 
I remember reading the article that inspired Inventing Anna back when it went viral in 2018, and it was wild. Led by Julia Garner, the Netflix series follows a journalist trying to chase down Anna Delvey, who has convinced New York elites that she is a German heiress. Lock and Key is one of the best, I'll bet, most underrated shows out there. Lucky for us, they filmed season two and season three back to back, so we know season three is definitely coming. And based off that final episode, we're unleashing a whole new big bad. We're getting more history of the keys. I cannot wait to see where they go next because this show just does such a great job of diving into those themes of family and growing up and the magic of these keys and paying attention to those little details that really just bring the story so full circle. I love that in Marvel Phase 4, we're meeting these young heroes who are inspired by the original Avengers, Hawkeye and Kate Bishop, and now Captain Marvel and Kamala Khan. Based on the comics, Miss Marvel follows a Muslim Pakistani-American teenager from New Jersey, played by newcomer Aman Vellani, who writes fan fiction and develops the ability to shapeshift. This series is going to be the setup for the 2023 film The Marvels. Executive produced by Ava DuVernay, we've got a brand new DC superhero on the way, Naomi. Naomi tells the story of a cool comic book loving teen who gets caught up in a supernatural mystery. As she journeys into the multiverse, what she discovers challenges her beliefs about heroes. Russian Doll was a hit for Netflix when it dropped in 2019, about two people caught in a mysterious time loop. But we don't know much about season two just yet, star Charlie Barnett said it's going to be very different. Disney Channel's Secrets of Sulphur Springs follows two teens who discover a portal that allows them to travel through time. In season two, we're going to learn even more about the history of the Tremont Hotel that this whole story is focused on and uncover even more secrets and mysteries. The much anticipated next chapter of Stranger Things is almost here. Season 4 has a time jump taking place in the spring of 1986. We'll be introduced to a new horror while also seeing what Hopper's up to imprisoned in Russia. A true crime comedy, The After Party is a murder mystery set at a high school reunion after party with Tiffany Haddish, Ben Schwartz, Alana Glaser, Sam Richardson, and so many more comedy superstars. Each episode is told from a different character's perspective. The Proud Family, Louder and Prouder is a continuation of the iconic Proud Family series from back in the day centered around Penny Proud and her family. The original cast is returning with tons of special guests, including Lil Nas X, Kiki Palmer, Brenda Song, Zachary Quinto, Marseille Martin, Tiffany Haddish, Billy Porter, and Leslie Odom Jr. From the brilliant minds of the creators of the OA, Britt Marling and Zalbit Maglidge, comes a new whodunit mystery called Retreat. It follows a Gen Z amateur sleuth, Darby Hart, who attempts to solve a murder at a secluded resort. This creative duo just always blew my mind, so I'm just ready for them to take the murder mystery genre to a whole new level. From the mind up to all the boys author Jenny Han comes The Summer I Turn Pretty a new show adapted from the books of the same name. Led by newcomer Lola Tang, this is a multi-generational drama and coming-of-age story centered around first love, first heartbreak, and the magic of summer. Time travel changed everything in the Umbrella Academy season two, and I don't even know what to expect when we get introduced to the Sparrow Academy in season three. In the comic books, we have kind of gotten up to the point that we're at now. There is no more information really on the Sparrow Academy, so this is all like uncharted territory that we're getting into, which makes me just even more excited to see where the creatives go next. The Wilds follows the story of complicated young women who get trapped on a deserted island as part of a social experiment. Season two is gonna take this story to a whole new level, especially now that we know that these are not the only people who are being watched. I cannot wait for Netflix's Wednesday series. This is gonna be a new coming of age supernatural story centered around Wednesday Adams, but as a teenager. Led by Jenna Ortega, we're gonna focus on her years at the Nevermore Academy, learning to master her magic and solving a mystery that affected her family 25 years ago. I gotta tell you, it was really hard to narrow this list down. I wanted to include so many more shows, but these are just a few that I cannot wait for. I'd say I'm like really, 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 really hyped for Wednesday and Umbrella Academy and Retreat. Now I wanna hear from you. Are you excited for any of the shows that I mentioned? I wanna know what TV shows are you most anticipating in 2022? Make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. Consider subscribing if you like my videos and if you wanna talk more TV and movies with me outside of the comment section, check out the exclusive Discord available on my Patreon at patreon.com slash kmaldo. If you like this one, you can check out more of my videos right over here. See ya.